What I want to do is I want to align the front of the car with the edge of the car when I'm making turns. All right, friends. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make wide turns using the push and pull method. I'm sure you've watched the left turn video with the push and pull method. And uh, now it is the wide turns. Wide turns in Canada, right? Or wherever you drive on the right side of the road, uh, right turns are difficult because, you know, you have to cut close to the curb. So I am going to give you some reference points to use when making a right turn. So here, what I want to do is I want to align the front of the car with the edge of the car when I'm making a turn. So I go one and two and I turn it as much as I want, you know, and then I start to straighten out slowly. There you go. Perfect. She was looking at me like, what's this guy doing? <laughs> so here again, so there's no stop sign here. I'll break a little, right? Whenever you enter a turn, you want to break and you want to turn it. One, two, one, two, right? You don't turn it more than twice, right? Then you'll be overturning the wheel. Let's take a look one more time. So I'm entering a curve right now and I break a little, take my foot off the brake, one, two hold it there and when the car straightens out i start to accelerate and at the same time straighten out the wheel okay so doing what that one more time braking taking my foot off one two one two so when the car is at an angle i kind of start to straighten out the wheel i'm ready to straighten out the wheel and as the car keeps going i am spinning my wheel watch it one more time so at a stop sign again i'm gonna go forward align the front of the car with the edge of the curb and i go one two hold it give a little gas give a little gas and i go one two right i'm going slow and I straighten out the wheel first, and then I start to accelerate. So one more time, brake, no stop sign. One, two, one, two, there you go, perfect. So that's the way it is, my friend. So you wanna go slow when making a turn, and, uh, and then you start accelerating when the car is straight. Hey, to learn how to turn well, make sure you watch all my videos, right? Because in, in one video, I may not be sharing all the tips. So make sure you watch all of them to understand how turning works. So that's how it is. I, you know, it's it's very simple and straightforward with, with the push and pull method. Though I'm not used to it, a lot of people were telling me that, you know, uh, the push and pull method is a better method uh, and uh, you should avoid using hand over hand, but uh, I, I am used to hand over hand. Um, but yeah, I mean, if your instructor uh, doesn't allow you or if it's not allowed on the road test, then you don't need to do hand over hand. Now I've shown you how to do how to use uh, push and pull method. So I'm going to demonstrate one more time and I'll let you practice it. One, two, just gently. One, there you go. That's it. So after I straighten out the wheel, I start to accelerate. So brake a little, there's a curve, spin the wheel, you go one and two. Perfect. That's the way it is. That's the way it is, my friend. So I hope you learned something from this video. If there was anything that you did not understand, make sure you leave a comment in the comment box below and I will try to cover up all those points in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again with another video.